All right, joined now by Patriot Safety Terrence Brooks. Terrence, thanks so much for joining us. Um, I want to start with this. All football fans are all waking up and saying, I can't believe the NFL's back. <laughs> From where we were in the spring, as a player, did you think we'd get to this moment where the season would start on time and you'd be kicking it off on Sunday? Man, I think it, it really led up all the way until the, the report date. I was just like, man, I don't know if this is going to happen. Is it going to happen? So we're all kind of on edge about that. But um, I'm, I'm so happy that it, it just kicked off and underway. I mean, it's it's a blessing anytime we get to come up here and suit up and play, play the game you love for a living. So... Uh, to me, it's, I mean, I'm glad it's here. It's awesome. How was your uh, quarantine or your time uh, before getting back to football? Did you pick up any good habits or bad habits? Did you binge watch any TV shows? How did you pass the time? Uh, man, i tell you, tell you the truth. I have three kids. I have a six-year-old and I have a pair of twins, too. And there's no time for TV shows. <laughs> so they keep me pretty busy. Um other than that, when we get we get blessed with the babysitter, me and my wife, we go out and we have a good little time on the four-wheelers or jet skis and stuff and kind of just wind down. But uh, the kids keep me busy, man. I'm always yeah. on go with them. Yeah, no, I know. I got a couple of my own. I know how that goes, definitely. <laughs> All right, uh, heading into this week one, um, what's the process been like of not having any preseason games? Uh, I think fans are excited that no one knows what to expect. How's it been for you guys that, like, once you deliver that first big hit Sunday, it's probably going to feel real. But up until then, you guys haven't had any game action. Yeah, it's it's pretty wild. We're all in different territory right now dealing with what's going on. But for the most part, I feel like this organization and the players and everyone surrounded has really just prepared themselves the best way they can. We go out and we make sure the, the place is safe. We go out and make sure we're good on the football field. So the – it's a lot going on. You can tell it's different, but for the most part, we're still handling business and getting everything done that we need to. All right. So you've been playing football all your life. You played uh, at a big time school in a big time conference, a lot of big crowds. You're going to run out there Sunday and there's going to be zero people in the crowd. How are you going to get up for a game? I mean, it's your job. It's what you're being paid to do, but it'll certainly be different. I imagine. Yeah. Um, speaking for me and I'm sure there's a lot of other guys in the locker room who feel the same way, but Man, it's just such a blessing to be in the NFL and, and even more of a blessing to be with this organization. Um, and I just know anytime someone lines up across from me, my adrenaline gets going. I know I got to go out and compete. And my mindset is always like, I don't have to stop them. They got to beat me somehow. So every time it goes out there, it doesn't take much to get me geared up. As long as I got my brothers with me and they're all ready to go. I mean, I feel like that's all we need. We do. But don't get me wrong now. We do miss the fans. We wish they could be yeah. there. And we can't wait to have them at some point if they are able to come. But sure. for the most part, hopefully we can hear them loud enough at home that they can get us going. All right, Terrence. Hey, thanks so much for your time and good luck on Sunday. And I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. You have a good one now.